Amazon has added advanced grocery pickup and delivery windows. According to Chain Store Age, Amazon is offering a new service that lets customers plan ahead when it comes to scheduling their weekly grocery pickup or delivery. The new service, known as, gotta love the alliteration here, and recurring reservations, is a nationwide offering that enables shoppers to plan ahead and set up their preferred day and time window for weekly grocery pickup and delivery up to seven days in advance. And here, Anne, because I know you were curious, here is how the service I am works. Always curious, You're Chris. You know that. Waiting with bated breath, Anne, for me to tell you this. I know. Customers get their preferred pickup or delivery time automatically reserved each week. Reservation notifications are then set two days in advance and an hour before the reservation expires for customers to keep their preferred time. Shoppers can add items they may have forgotten at any point before the shopper begins picking their groceries. And payment occurs when customers are ready to check out and can be modified or canceled at any time with no obligation. So, and my question for you is this. Yeah. I kind of am, I'm kind of hedging my best that you weren't at all surprised to see this announcement. Am I correct in thinking that? Yes, you are 100% correct. It Why makes, is that? It makes Amazon money. Like number one, this is <laughs> this is like, look, we need to it, we need to try to train. Like Amazon trained us as customers to expect things right. to be delivered same day, two right. hours, thirty point. minutes. Yeah. Right? Like we Amazon's realizing, which they've done with all of the like. Now you have to pay thirty minimum $35 grocery order to get delivery if you're a Prime member. Like all these things, everybody's realizing like you can't afford to do this and it's finally caught up with Amazon. And so I think yep. number one, this is driving the experience. Like how can we do Amazon grocery and not, you know, cost us an arm and a leg? But number two, the thing that I love about this is that it proves to me that from a consumer standpoint, that convenience yes. is no longer synonymous with speed. It does not have to be delivered so quickly in all cases, and especially for your weekly recurring grocery order. Like I know I get the same things over and over again. So to me, it seems like this is something that the customer is just going to start to get used to. It's still convenient. It's on their schedule. They get to determine their time slot and Amazon gets to save money. But what what are your thoughts? Are you with me on this one, or I I am a hundred percent with you. I thought yeah. you I thought you explained that wonderfully, and but I'm gonna actually I'm gonna actually put a little more hyperbole into it. And I, the funny thing is, I don't think this is hyperbole at all. Like I actually think of all the headlines, this is one of the most important ones we've done so far this year because of what it means for the future of the grocery industry in total. Because like, if you strip it back, there's the, the business operations side and there's the customer side, which is both the points you hit on. From the business operations side, it's cheaper for Amazon to run this model because it's like, it's like load factoring on the airlines. You know when the trucks are going out, the idea is you try to fill them up, up as much as possible on a regular schedule cadence. Right. It's why when we heard what Buncha was doing with basically yep. doing the same process with their W2 drivers, we jumped at the chance to be a part of what they're doing. And we asked to be on their advisory board because we believe in the model. Yeah. So I think in the long run, what this is showing me, because Amazon's doing it now, it's validating Bunch's idea. Mm -hmm. And then also it's, it's not going to be long before we see scheduled weekly deliveries on every P product detail page of a grocery e-commerce experience as the cheaper option for the customers, yes. right? Because yes. customers will go where things are cheaper. And the other point that I'll make, they'll also go where the quality is better. Yes. So the thing that's great about this setup is Amazon's probably getting the benefit of this too. I know a bunch of does like you get the same driver going to the neighborhoods at the same time every day. So yep. the quality and the service level is better than say in the quick delivery scenario, when you're just farming it out to whatever white label gig delivery driver can do the order at that time. Yeah. And, and just kind of hope and pray that it works. Right. Yes. Grocery is a great, a great call out, Chris, but I don't think it's limited to grocery. Like, I think this is a big either. because That's I think that it's thing. going yes. to expand. Go like, there first. Buncha is yeah. great. Yeah. And a great example, but like they're expanding outside of grocery too. And I think that right. this is going, it costs too much for these companies, regardless of industry to do delivery on these timelines without getting some help and pull from the customer. And this, like you said, like what Bunch has been doing for a while, now what Amazon is doing, it's retraining the customer to just set the expectations. As long as you're transparent with when it can get there and you deliver on time, the customer is going to want that option if it's cheaper too. And we heard from Kim Bojer at Thematic too, and that demand shaping like this is already happening in Europe, yeah. right? So, the, and they're always ahead of us too. So yes, a hundred percent.